you've likely heard by now about Denver's now somewhat infamous International Church of Cannabis. It's been making headlines nationwide all week and it officially opened today. The Nazareth Russell Haythorn is there live and Russell, they will allow the parishioners to smoke marijuana right there on site. Yes, as long as you bring it yourself. The church is not allowed to smell, sell marijuana and uh, we can definitely smell it. Um, and you must be 21 to smoke it per state law. And they are indeed, members here today are indeed toking up. This is unlike any other church service I've ever been to. Some neighbors have argued this is nothing more than a social pot club, uh, but the church founders insist it is not a sanctuary for stoners, rather a gathering place for those looking to awaken their spiritual self through pot. They call themselves elevationists, and I asked a member to explain what that means. Um, in my opinion, it's really just meditating and finding yourself. Um, it's kind of having your own mind and believing and going with it. The founders spent about $1 million to renovate this century-old church, and some of the detail, especially in this ceiling, is incredible. This is not an entirely new concept. There are other cannabis churches in other states around the country where organizers have argued the practice is constitutionally protected as a religious freedom. We opened to the public for the first time today from 12 to 2, where there was no consumption allowed inside the church. We had about 250 people come in during those two hours, and at 3 o'clock we opened our doors to everybody who had rsvp to the invitation. Full disclosure, I'm Robin Farzad, and we are live from the International Church of Cannabis in Denver on 420. I've never been to Denver before. I've never consumed, smelled, snorted, injected the wacky tobacco. But right now, and you don't quite appreciate this listening to it on radio, I'm in the midst of unprecedented secondhand cannabis smoke. Since the Indiegogo went live, we've had international press cover this story from the Netherlands to Japan to Kenya to England, and our membership has increased by about 500% in the past week. And so we're, you know, rounding to 300 members soon. Uh, I, you know, by the end of next week, hopefully we'll be at 500 or more. We certainly didn't want to you know, come out swinging in our first day. We wanted to show that we're trying to be positive and impactful within the community. How this came to be a very restrictive private event was very simple. They threatened to throw me in jail. And, you know, I don't want to go to jail. I don't think what we're doing here at, at all is criminal. But, you know, before we uh, go down that, that, you know, road of whether this is legal or whether it's not legal, we wanted to show that we're willing to cooperate As a community, we think about the magnitude of what we're doing here. It's historic. This is the first time anything like this is on this scale has ever happened. And so when it gets to be 420, please put away your phones. Feel free to light up a joint and take a minute, a full minute to be silent, reflect, have your moment of spirituality. And then after that minute is up, you can go back to talking to your neighbors, all right? All right now, introduce yourself to somebody that you guys don't know. Happy 420, everybody. Happy 420. Check, check. There's a new type of church in Denver, Colorado. It is referred to as the International Church of Cannabis, where uh, the congregation will consist of Elevationists, that's what they refer to themselves. Elevationism, Interesting. Elevationism, yeah. Hmm. So uh, this is fun, I like this, this is the kind of church I like. The church's stated purpose is to serve as a home to adults everywhere who are looking to create the best version of themselves by way of sacred plant, hmm. okay? The programming is expected to include guest speakers, comedians, artists, musicians, and film screenings. Of course. And so the, the amazing part about all of this is, 
Look, people are criticizing it because they think it's just gonna be like a marijuana smoking club, like people are gonna get together and light up. But apparently no marijuana will be sold at the church. I mean, they might be consuming it, but the sale of marijuana is not allowed. And also, if you practice a specific type of religion, let's say you are Jewish or you're an evangelical, you are welcome to come to the church. You are allowed to be part of the International Church of Cannabis and still believe in your own faith. Um, can maybe. Event. <laughs> is it is it a can event a can evangelism can, can evangelist? That's look who that's, runs that. I mean, if, it, if so, I will have a completely very, different view. Church is very. I them. grew up in a Baptist church. It was really boring. But can you imagine how boring this church would be? Where the guy standing or woman standing uh -huh. up at the top going, "Oh my God, you guys just saw the craziest thing today." And goes into a crazy detail about stuff, yeah. Because he's because he or she's so stoned. I feel like it'd be. Do you a get lot to have fun. pizza after this church? Is I hope so. After every, gotta be when, sponsored by when the worship yes. ceremony is over, there's pizza and Cheetos. There has to be. I, okay. Hopefully not while that it's would be over. Fun. While it's happening. No, no. I, I love actually that disagree church. with you. I think this would be a lot of fun. <laughs> First of all. Um, I love those conversations if I'm under the influence <laughs> yeah. of the devil's lettuce. If you're at home, right? like, but like if you're in, if you're in yeah. church, I mean it. Oh yeah, I'd get paranoid actually. Was, I bet you every sermon ends with, wait a minute, what was I talking about? Probably. And what is the definition of church? <laughs> is, are they calling it a church just because it's housed in, in a facility that actually used to be a church? Or like what? I, you know, I don't know. I'm. I'm curious to see if they're referring to it as a religion or a church because of the fact that we have tax exempt status for churches. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not. I, I don't know what their financial intentions are at all. So I don't want to be unfair to them. But I just, I think that these are just like minded people that want to get together and have some fun. By the way, this is the facility that it will be in. It's mm -hmm. a 113 year old structure in Denver's well healed Washington wow, Park that's neighborhood. Trippy. I, I wish I lived in Denver. I never ever thought I would say that about any place other than Los Angeles, but I, I want to visit this. It looks amazing. Um, For a tour. For yeah. A tour. <laughs> I, I worry about this notion of this is the place. Not worry. Look at that picture. You have a, a sort of a storky looking person with breasts on the left. <laughs> Interesting. And a man of brick with a beanie on. I mean, if that doesn't send you into some kind of psychosis while you're at church, yeah, I don't know. right. What's <laughs> Look, I gotta be honest. I would, I would get paranoid. Like now that you really describe it and make things about it, I'm like it, alongside the pictures. Well, yeah. remember uh, uh, Andrew Keegan when we were here together at mm -hmm. the Young Turks? He's an actor who started a church in Venice. He started his own church, mm -hmm, and I'm mm -hmm. not saying that he has an elevationist church or that marijuana is like the spine of their. A lot. But the, he, they just started a church. Yeah. There's this sort of sense of community that they're trying to build. You know, and I don't know what they do in the yeah. ceremonies, but it looks like they have like drumming and poems and music yeah. and just love. It's like a hippie fest. And they fest. just, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like a hippie fest, yeah. I think, is what it is. Yeah. It's so. either going to be great or it's going to fall apart because this notion of this is a place where everybody can come and be their best self. Uh -huh. Sometimes me being my best self means that I'm infringing on your best self. So <laughs> I, I just these loose, these loose, you know, ideas and how yeah. they're going to operate and people are going to be high. It's just Let me it may you. not be great. I, I, um, I'm, I'm a big supporter. I love it. I, I, I like it. it. Look, I like you it know, too. And I'm curious weed. about it. Uh, let's hear from the weed co founder, <laughs> Lee oh. Molly. Um, she says, Elevationism is about elevating one's life and spiritual <laughs> self discovery through the sacrament, sacrament. of cannabis. Ooh, that's a sacrament. <laughs> I, I grew up in an evangelical Pentecostal religion mm -hmm. with people speaking in tongues and falling on the floor. Mm -hmm. If those people are considered a real religion, then why not us? Okay. That's, the, I mean, that's a devastating point. Got to keep it real. And now the sacrament of cannabis. Um, <laughs> the Pope has this most amazing sacrament of cannabis. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, the um, yeah, don't yeah. leave out rattlesnakes too. Rattlesnake handling. I mean, a lot of us People had to go through that, that too. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of weird shit that that is constitutes a religion. So why not the pot people? Yeah. About, but I just want to know what the cannabis sacrament is. Yeah, same. Like same. What, is there a thing? Like let's you, go investigate, Brian. You and I. <laughs> let's go investigate. Let's do a show about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 Investigative reporting at yeah. its finest. Absolutely.